Now from the home of the reigning AL champs, we're at Comerica Park in downtown Detroit. Today it's majors versus minors between the Toledo Mud Hens and the defending American League champions, the Detroit Tigers. Matt Vaskersian with you for another edition of Tigers Baseball here on the show. I'll be joined in the booth shortly by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. But first, here's a look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one, as their order will read like this. getting his final warm-up tosses in. There you see the numbers for one of the very best starters in the game, all-star right-hander Justin Verlander. And a quick look now at the defensive alignment behind him for Detroit. Scott Gerald will head for the box as we are just about ready to get things going today. And this is in the dirt as it swung on and missed, but this should be a pretty straightforward play to first. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out for out number one. So Verlander takes care of the leadoff man here, and with that, Let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Tigers. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it a look at the starting lineup for the Tigers there is presented by their manager, Jim Leland. They'll match up against a guy who's battled back from some serious arm injuries the past few years, right-hander Sean Hill. Here comes Austin Jackson as he'll step up to get things kicked off in the bottom of the first. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first and now a leadoff single to start things in their half. Corey Hunter will dig in here. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Oh, and you cannot get caught making up your mind to swing before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, that wasn't even close. A look at Jackson, and now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Runners are at second and third here with only one away. And that'll bring in the slugging first baseman, Prince Fielder. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. This is not the time to go helping him out. You've got two men in scoring position, so the pressure's on him, not you. From the belt kicks and deals swing hard hit ball to second and that's through into right field for a base hit Victor Martinez will stand in looking to keep this first inning rally hot
swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Throws there, and he is out on a beautiful throw as he just came up firing that time. Danny Wirth will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive. Here's Verlander now on 0-2. Ani lets him off the hook on 0-2 as this is lined into left field for a base hit. Hernan Perez will get his first cut. And he's really going to have to fight now. You got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Alex Avila digs in at the plate. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play in the inning. Is Brian Holiday is ready to go here as we begin the third. Brian Holiday. Now a ball hit back up the middle to his left. He's there. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little. Scott Gerald will be the batter. First here, one man out. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Oh, this is a bat. Austin Jackson will stand in. He's single to lead off the home first. Oh, and Jackson connects here and sends this one high and deep out to left field. And that is over the wall. Home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And the Tigers take a 3 to nothing lead. They'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Miguel Cabrera will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Proves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And the route is on now. It's a home run. A two-run home run for Miguel Cabrera. And the Tigers add on. It's now a 5-0 score. Victor Martinez to stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. And this could wind up being a bullpen kind of game as we've got action down there right now when we're only in the third inning. And this might advance the runner as it's on the ground to second. And that's through. A base hit. And he will beat the throw as he gets his foot in there safe at the plate. And he is out trying for two bases but credit him with a single and an RBI here. Johnny Peralta will try it again. He flew out his first time. Now the first pitch. That's lined into left. He left that one up. It's a base hit. If you want to put a big smile on the face of your starting pitcher, give him a six-run lead early on and see what you get. He's got to be loving this right now, and I got a feeling they're not done scoring runs for him yet. Now time called here is here comes the skipper from the third base dugout, and that will be all for his starter, Sean Hill. 
So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just never got into any kind of groove out there. Adam Shockley is going to come on to pitch here and seeing as though it's just the third inning, he may be asked to work for a while. Job right there to get that first out. And you can pretty much bet he's probably thinking to himself, anytime my boys get me six runs. That is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Danny Worth will dig in. He singled his first time. Two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for him. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth. And that'll bring in the ever-dangerous third baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Brian Holliday will stand in. A base hit his first time. Hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Glenn Ortega will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Runner at second here with one man out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. 11, 12 inches of break. This one only moves about eight, but that's more than enough to get the job done. This one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Victor Martinez will stand in. He was thrown out trying to leg out a double his last time. The pitch. Ah, uh, well done as he takes this the other way and laces it into left field, a base hit. Well, a lot of switch hitters like Andy Dirks will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's Worth for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Not really your prototypical golfer. So they... Johnny Peralta will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Now here's the first pitch. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And he is in there with an RBI triple. I'll tell you what, there aren't a whole lot of ballparks. Avisail Garcia will try things again. Something to try and change the eye level there. Now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. And a dive by Peralta, but Johnny comes up empty. It's a base hit. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he's... Here's Verlander now on 0-2. And, and a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that'll get down in front of Hunter, a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the... Austin Jackson. Was... Corey Hunter will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Miguel Cabrera will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Victor Martinez will step in. A base hit in his last time. 
Oh, and he turns beautifully on that fastball as this is pulled into right for a base hit. Johnny Peralta will stand in. He tripled home a run his last time. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he is in there. Back here now at Comerica Park in Detroit. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. It's worked for him so far. Brian Holiday will stand in. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses its ball four. Well, now the further he goes in this one, the less precise he's going to be with his location. You can see it up on the screen. He's up over 90 pitches here. So he's starting to get tired and running out of gas out there. Glenn Ortega will come forward ready with another 0-2. And he struck him out. The 10th victim sat down on strikes thus far. Well, he continues to pitch well out there. Here's his pitch breakdown so far. Luis Marte will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Oh, it would likely net him a run. Corey Hunter will see if he can keep it going. Three for four thus far. First pitch on the way. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. And this offensive explosion continues. They're now up to 14 runs in the game. EK, you can't even count that high. And I think defensively, you got to be saying right now, what do we got to do to get these guys out? Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game as the blowout continues. Avisail Garcia will get us going now in the top half of the A. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for the bag himself for the out. That one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first baseline. And this ball hits the play that you just don't see. Johnny Peralta will stand in, and as you see, needs only a big fly to complete this cycle. Oh, high, deep. Where will this one come down? Now that is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. It's a two-run home run for Johnny Peralta as they just continue to pour it on here. Danny Wirth will stand in needing to get things started. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. And now from the air, a jump throw. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Brian Holiday will stand in. Got 
got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Well, man, the intimidation factor was definitely in evidence there. And he's not going to back down from too many hitters out there. The benefit of you working the count to 3-2 is that that runner gets a head start from first with two away. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first will take care of him, and the Tigers get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout. for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, the Tigers got a great start in this one out of the gentleman you see there. Justin Verlander, he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that'll about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 13, the show. To find out more, head to theshownation.com. The Tigers win it 18 to nothing. So long from Motown.